A Vancouver-based research team has made a major breakthrough in the prevention of Alzheimer's. Their study finds that taking a common over-the-counter pain reliever could actually help ward off the onset of the disease. Here's Jennifer Palma. Jill Guthrie is a busy chartered accountant. She's 60 and wants to stay as healthy as possible. There's a history of Alzheimer's in her family affecting her mom. It's horrendous. I mean, it's, it's a terrible disease. So for Jill, finding a way to not develop Alzheimer's is important. She's taking part in research looking at how taking a daily dose of non-prescription ibuprofen can ward off the disease. Well, I was kind of stunned actually. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting some really mysterious drug that I was going to be taking. Dr. Pat McGeer is the neuroscientist who is leading the Vancouver-based research team carrying out the 500-person ibuprofen study. $30 a year, you can save your life. The first step was to have participants take a saliva test able to diagnose Alzheimer's and predict future onset. Taking ibuprofen can help as an anti-inflammatory. You start about 10 years before you think you're going to come down with the disease because the disease builds up, builds up, builds up uh, and by the time you start to show clinical signs, it's too late. So you start about 10 years earlier, don't need to start before you're 50. The Alzheimer's Society of BC says it's been a while since the disease has had this type of advancement. It's a tough diagnosis to receive. Having anything that will help means so much for everybody. The most important thing for families is that they speak with their health care provider before they do anything on their own. The next step is to find out how many pills are necessary to take a day. That answer is expected this year. For Jill, she says the research is life-saving. Trust in science, and I think science will continue, but this is a fantastic start as far as I'm concerned. Yeah.